Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And our problem here says find the slope and y-intercept of the equation of the line below. Here's the equation. So we're going to find the slope and y-intercept of that. Then we're going to use them to graph the line. So this might sound hard to you, but it actually is a really simple concept if you know one thing. If you know about what's called the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. That is y equals mx plus b. So maybe you've heard your teachers throw this around before, y equals mx plus b, but never knew really knew what they were talking about. Well, basically, when the equation of a line is solved for y, you've got y alone, then you can look, just look at the equation and see the slope, and you can see the y-intercept. You don't even have to do any math. You could just see it as long as y is alone. The m, the number multiplying with x out here, is going to be the slope. And the b, the number adding or subtracting with x, is going to be the y-intercept. And so you can see right here, I can see the number multiplying with m. That's a 3. That's all shoved up. I mean, I'm sorry. I can see the number multiplying with x. <laughs> that's a 3. It's all shoved up against x. That's how I know they're multiplying. And so that is the m. That is the slope is 3. And I can also see that number adding, or in this case, subtracting uh, with y. And so keep the sign with it. The y-intercept is going to be at negative 1. Great. Now, I did the first two things they asked me to do. I found the slope. I found the y-intercept. But now they want me to use them to graph the line. Okay. So my advice for you is when graphing lines using the slope-intercept form, start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is actually a point. It's a super special point. It's the point where my graph crosses the y-axis. So it's going to be on the y-axis. So come right here to your vertical up and down axis. That's your y-axis. And find negative 1. There's negative 1. That is a point on your line. It's the place where your line crosses the y-axis. Wonderful. Now from there, you are supposed to move the slope. The slope is not a point. The slope is a movement. But that being said, usually we describe slope as rise over run. The numerator of the fraction tells you how much to go up or down. And the denominator tells you how much to go uh, left or right, how much to run. And so this particular number we have, 3, is a whole number. It doesn't look like a fraction. So the first thing I would do, a wise thing to do, is to rewrite it as a fraction. You can turn any whole number into a fraction by throwing it over 1. That's like 3 one whole things. And now I can see that my rise will be 3 and my run will be 1. So starting at the y-intercept that I was just at, I'm going to move. I'm going to rise 3, 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to run positive 1, so 1 to the right. And I'll drop another point there. So the slope is a movement, but after making that movement uh, from your y-intercept up to a new point, you're going to put a dot on that new point. Wonderful. And now to... Uh, dots are all I need to make a line. You just connect these two points here and boom, I have a line. I have graphed my line using the slope and the y-intercept. By far the easiest way to graph a line, but also the way that students forget the fastest because it's so easy, like they didn't even have to do any work for it. Um, they just often forget it. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.